Hey everybody, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. And in this video, we're gonna be going in depth on our best-selling over-the-counter hearing aid, which is the Sennheiser All Day Clear. Now at this point, I've spent about six months in total wearing this product. So I have a lot of thoughts on how it performs in background noise, how the rechargeable batteries work, and a bunch of other nuances about the All Day Clear. I'll share those in this video. Now, if you've been following this channel for a while, you might remember that I did an in-depth review on Sennheiser All Day Clear about a year ago. But since then, we've started selling products directly on our site, which means we're a whole lot closer to the consumer experience of many, many wearers. Sennheiser is now our best seller, and it's also the product that has the highest customer satisfaction rate across all of the brands that we sell. So I figured a year later, now might be a good time to create an updated video on what we've learned, what we know about this product, who it's right for, who it's not right for, and what you should know as you are considering a purchase decision. Let's get into it. Before we get into the Sennheiser product itself, let's look at a little bit of background on how Sennheiser ended up releasing a hearing aid. After all, if you know Sennheiser, the brand, you would probably think of them as a company that launches sound bars and headphones. It's a German company that's generally been loved by the audiophile community. But a few years ago, something interesting happened. The hearing health giant, Sonova, which is the parent company of Phonak and Unitron, and it's the number one maker of hearing aids in the world by volume, purchased Sennheiser. Now at the time, some people didn't totally understand that move, but in hindsight, it's clear that Sonova was positioning themselves to release an over-the-counter product under the Sennheiser brand. So essentially, when you purchase a pair of Sennheiser hearing aids, you're really purchasing a pair of Sonova hearing aids, which are coming off the same line as Unitron and Phonak products. Now, in my mind, that's a really good thing because Sonova knows how to make great hearing aids. They put more hearing aids in ears than anybody else every single year. They understand what's important in terms of product stability, longevity, how to process background noise, they have a lot of experience in this space. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the design of Sennheiser All Day Clear. Now, there are actually two models of Sennheiser All Day Clear hearing aids. One is the one that we very much prefer, and that's the non-slim version. It's the one I'm wearing now. It looks a lot like a Phonak or Unitron hearing aid with volume buttons here, a speaker that plays sound into your ear, and a wire that goes up over the top of the ear. It's a really discreet style. It has a very similar size to what you'll find across the hearing aid market when you're looking at receiver and canal styles. Now, there is a second style available through Sennheiser, which is called the Slim version. Now, I did try the Slim version last year, and I didn't find that it was as comfortable. It's actually quite a bit longer and larger, and I didn't really, in general, feel like there were any benefits to wearing Slim. So when we decided to sell this product directly through Soundly, we only carried the non-slim version and we've been really happy that we did that. Sennheiser All Day Clear has rechargeable batteries. They carry about 18 hours per charge. So if you drop them into the charge case, let them fully recharge, you'll have about 18 hours each day, even with some streaming. Now to that point, these are Bluetooth enabled hearing aids, meaning you can take phone calls, the person on the other end can hear you through the microphone on the hearing aids. You can also stream the sound of that call into your ears. This goes for audiobooks, music, etc. Now, in general, Sonova has been a leader in Bluetooth streaming. They have a really good system that allows Android and iPhone users to connect to Bluetooth in very similar ways. And you actually just do it through the main Bluetooth settings instead of going through the accessibility settings, which is the most common way that you would connect to Bluetooth. So you're really looking at a full featured hearing aid. We're chargeable, Bluetooth connected, and built by a really trusted manufacturer. The one major drawback that I noted in my original review, and we've certainly seen as we've continued to learn about this product, is that the charger itself is not as sophisticated as some of the other chargers available, even from other OTC products. What I mean by that is that you need to have the charger plugged in in order to power your hearing aids. So these are a couple of design drawbacks. Most people use their charger next to their bedside and it's always plugged in. This is not a big deal, but it's certainly something to know. All right, so now you have an understanding of some of the basic features within the Sennheiser All Day Clear product, but you're probably wondering about two things. I know I certainly was wondering about these things when I first tried the product. The first is sound quality, and the second is 
how do I program these devices to actually match my individual hearing loss? So we'll start with sound quality. As I mentioned at the top of the video, I've worn this product for about six months. I've traveled at the product, I've been at the office, been at dinners, at home with family. And in general, what I've found is that Sennheiser's sound quality is comparable to the best prescription devices that I've tried. I really believe this product has prescription grade audio. Now, that's probably not a huge surprise because it's literally coming off the same factory line as Unitron and Phonak products with maybe some slight adjustments, but in general, these are very similar products. When I think about sound quality, I'm always looking for some specific things. For example, when a door closes loudly or a dish is set down, how is that sudden sound managed? That's one thing I look at. Another way I try to test products is with a chip bag. I'll sit with a chip bag while I'm listening to speech and I'll see how well the hearing aids can decipher and turn down the sound of that bag, kind of crunching, and still give me the speech signal that I'm actually wanting to hear. Maybe it's on a TV or it's a conversation that I'm having. In general, Sennheiser is operating at an extremely mature level on all of those fronts. Now, if you've been researching hearing aids for a while, you might already know that sound quality doesn't just come down to that base algorithm. Them, the ability to manage sudden sounds or get a voice in a background noise situation. That's important, but there's another piece that's really, really important, and that is how well are the devices customized to your individual loss. And it's here where Sennheiser, again, does really well. I actually took a pair of Sennheiser hearing aids. I walked through the app setup process, which I'll show you in just a second. And then I took a pair of Phonak hearing aids, which have been programmed to my specific loss. I placed them in a test box along with our lead audiologist. And what we saw is that the customization was nearly identical. We really couldn't see a difference between them. Now, that's just me. I'm very comfortable with the app. I know what I'm looking for. With Sennheiser, you have an app which you can make a lot of controls with, but there's some sense of limitation. So that's one thing to know. Now, the obvious trade-off here is that you're spending around $1,000 versus four, five, or $6,000. So it's really two different services, and that's something each person has to consider for themselves. Okay, so before I demonstrate the app and show you how the setup process works for Sennheiser All Day Clear, let me talk just a little bit about who is right for this product and who probably is not right for this product. The first and most important qualifier for whether Sennheiser is a good product for you is going to be your individual hearing loss. Now, if you've taken a hearing test already, you can take a look at those results and see if most of your chart is in the mild and moderate sections of that hearing test. If you haven't taken a test, you can go to soundly.com. We have a simple test. It takes about five minutes and it'll give you a sense if you're in the mild, moderate, or severe category. Now, if you have a lot of frequencies that are in the severe or profound category, you're going to have a hard time getting enough amplification. Now, we've had great success with this product as we've sold it directly to different folks, but the ones that have come back or the folks who have not been satisfied are typically the folks who have severe or profound hearing loss, and it's just not giving them enough amplification. The final important question to ask yourself is, are you comfortable with a smartphone app? If you do not like using smartphone apps, or if you have not used a smartphone app before on your Apple or Android phone, then Sennheiser probably isn't going to be a good fit for you. Technically, you'll get some amplification right when they come out of the box, but if you aren't able to use the customization features, which I'll walk you through in a second, inside the app, you're not going to get the personalization that really is an important part of having a successful outcome with Sennheiser. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's take a closer look at the programming process through the Sennheiser All Day Clear app. Now, it's worth noting that if you purchase Sennheiser hearing aids or any other OTC hearing aids through soundly.com, you will get a complimentary setup call with an audiologist. That means we'll get on the phone with you, you'll be pushing the buttons, but we can help coach you through the process of your setup and of course answer any questions you have. You'll go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and you'll download the Sennheiser All Day Clear app. One of the first screens that you'll see is here within your sound profile. So the app will actually prompt you to set up your own sound profile. I'm going to recreate mine in order to show you all what this looks like. The first step in your sound profile is to adjust the volume to your taste. So what I'm actually hearing inside of the hearing aids right now is a conversation between a man and a woman. They're talking back and forth. And as I adjust, the volume, I can hear that getting louder or quieter. So figure out which feels the most comfortable to you. You can always come back and reset this later. I'll go with this for now. The second step is to adjust clarity. So in this step, you're going to be actually adjusting how much bass or treble you're receiving, and this will be mapping back to your individual hearing loss. So you can try these all out. You'll hear a lot crisper sounds as you move up towards the top, a lot rounder and bassier sounds as you move towards the bottom. Most folks are probably going to be in the four, five, or six. I'll choose three and I'll hit continue. 
I'm going to say the balance is good because I'm hearing equal volume in both ears, which is what I need. And then now the hearing aids will adjust and program to the inputs that you just gave it. Now we're gonna have some further fine tuning that we can do in just a moment, which I'll show you. Okay, so now you're looking at the main screen that you'll see each time you open up the All Day Clear app after you set it up. You're of course going to have the ability to change your volume up or down in real time. You can go back and change the master volume anytime you want as well, push it up towards that five or that six. You can split the volume as well if you need to change by ear. You want it to be like slightly louder in the right side or slightly louder in the left side. That's a control element that you have. Um, I'll just make them equal here and I'll say join again. And then the fine tuning is where I recommend most folks do some playing around. So within fine tuning, you're able to give yourself a treble boost, a mid boost or a bass boost. In my particular case, I have a cookie bite loss, so my configuration looks something like this, but play around with this and figure out what makes the most sense to you. Between the fine tuning and the initial programming that you did, there are literally hundreds of thousands of configurations that can be adjusted to map back to your particular loss. And this is one of the reasons that this hearing aid can get really close to prescriptive targets if you play around with it quite a bit. If you're missing clarity and you're looking for more clarity in speech, I would recommend turning up treble. Even as I do that, I can hear a lot more crispness in my own voice. Now, the only other thing to note in the settings is that you do have a couple of modes. You have automatic mode and live music mode. These are the only modes that are available inside the app at this time. The live music mode is basically going to give you a less engineered sound, so it won't push down background noise at the same level that the automatic setting will because they wanna let the full range of musical notes come through to your hearing aids. So you can toggle between those two. Most of the time I leave this in automatic. And of course it's making thousands of changes in real time to respond to all of the atmosphere around me. All right, so there you have it. This is our updated review of Sennheiser All Day Clear. Overall, we think this is one of the best options available on the OTC market. It's extremely affordable compared to the national average, has great underlying technology, good features, Couple of drawbacks in design, but overall this is a really quality option. Should be on most people's shortlist if they have that mild or moderate hearing loss and are comfortable programming their own devices. We hope you found this video informative. Feel free to drop your questions in the comments below, or you can always get a hold of us via our contact information at soundly.com. We're happy to answer any questions. Now, for those who are actually interested in purchasing Sennheiser All Day Clear, you can actually use a code at soundly.com. We're gonna make code here soundly available. That'll give you 5% off your purchase or around $50 off your purchase. That's just for our YouTube viewers. So again, that's code here soundly. You just enter that at checkout. Again, chat with us, text us, get in touch if you have any questions. Thanks, good luck with your research.